Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Um, well, okay, there's Velma from, you know, live stream. Uh, so I went to Michael's and I hadn't been in the Michael's store for about six months. Yeah, I know, I was having withdrawals, but we went, there was nobody there, so that was amazing. So obviously I went to the Jane Davenport section cause I'm addicted. And I was gonna get another big journal like this one cause this is my last large one that I have. And yes, I did just start it, but you know, I can go through them pretty quickly. Anyway, they were sold out. I was super annoyed. So I grabbed some of these. They're not as good, but I'll use them. No, oh, I do like them actually. It's just that it's watercolor paper, not mixed media, but it's still good. And then I was looking at her watercolors and I have all of them. I just, you know, was looking and I saw these there, which I thought was weird because I did not know that the art philosophy slash Prima Marketing had their stuff in stores. So I saw this in Michael's and thought, yeah, I should get that. So this one is the classic, the classics watercolor set. Have not opened them yet. Probably should have because the stickers were all ripped up. So we're hoping that they're actually all in there. We'll do that later. Okay, we're looking good. So that'll be fun. I'll probably use these today with my Jane Davenport finishing line pens and a chonky super king size Sharpie. I don't know why. I'm feeling like a black background happening. So I think that's what's gonna happen today. But also, things to come. They had a bunch of shirts on sale. So maybe these will get some nice fun paint jobs in the future. Who knows? And then I spent a bunch of money getting some more Prismacolors because I was running low and now I have a new trash bag thingy. And let's create some art. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, as usual. I'm gonna turn the page, we'll start there. Actually, do I want, I'm gonna, okay, so this page is um, textured, so I'm gonna turn to the smoother page just because that's what I wanna do. And I have no idea what I'm gonna draw, but I'm gonna do some kind of ink drawing Micro two. Ah, a face, a face. I'm looking for a face. I always look around my room to see if I can find inspiration. You would think out of all, like, for how many faces I draw, you think I would have one. Or like an inspirational book or something of images to like reference. I don't. I usually use my phone, but it's up there. So I'm gonna make something up. Let's draw a face. All right, we're bringing in the chonky boy. Does this bleed through? It might. Just put these here for a little protection. Not terribly concerned, but we, yeah, whatever. That is quality. Not really, I just kind of screwed up and got a little excited. Whatever, it's all right. I'm gonna grab, I was gonna use my, um smaller brush, but I think I'm gonna use a little bit, actually maybe let's use the super brush. This is basically a brush pen. It has bristles, I think this one has bristles, maybe not. Doesn't really matter, because it still works like a brush. Actually, let me just, let me find out just to make sure. Okay, it's, um, it's like a foam thing. I'm just kinda amping up the lines a little bit. because some days it's not really about the drawing because sometimes I just want to splash down some new colors. So, got a quick sketch done and we're gonna speed through opening up all of these glorious bits. <sighs> Sorry, I totally nailed the phone with my head because I got a huge noggin, all right? So I'm gonna spray these out with some water, let them all develop a little bit. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I really like half pans. 
I gotta say, or whole pans, either way, but I don't really like the two watercolors, and I know I can buy the tube and fill up my pans, blah, blah, blah. But like, I don't know. I like to just buy the pans already there for me, because that's how lazy I am. I like that I can just go to town with fun colors. I need to separate these a little bit. And we're gonna do swatching. I think we all know that the white, let's try it down here. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna let that set for a bit while I go get some clean water because it's totally gross right now. And we're back. Okay, let's pop this out and give it a quick dry with the dry thingy. So I get to mix a skin tone. That's always exciting. Ooh, that white dried pretty nicely. Okay, it's not really dry, but showed up pretty nice on the uh, black there. So let's create a skin tone. Start with orange, because I love orange. Touch of yellow, bit of red, bring in some brown. What are we looking at? Ooh, that's kind of nice. Let's put a little bit of a cool tone in there, maybe a touch of purple. Touch more. And some water. And we're just gonna smear it on her face. I always forget to pre-wet the page. It definitely helps. I'm gonna add pink to the cheeks because we know it's gonna be there. And the ears. I'm gonna add more purple in just because I know that's gonna be the shading color. And since I'm out, I'm just gonna make it up now. Purple and yellow are complementary, so when you mix them, they will neutralize. Like if I bring in some of this purple here, it'll turn more of a brown tone. But I'm just gonna give her kind of colorful skin down there. She's an elf after all. She can look like anything. All right, we're gonna dry this really quick. Maybe not all the way, but dry it up a little. Good enough. I think I'm gonna make the lighting coming from the left and kind of have it like be a harsh lighting. I think it might turn out, it might not, we don't know. So I'm gonna make some purple and brown. And maybe a touch of red. All right, these are going on weird. They're not like as transparent as I'm used to, which obviously I should have looked there and I could tell. So I'm gonna switch over to my Jane one. Just cause I'm a little more familiar with these, I wanna see if I can layer it up and make it look a little bit nicer. It looks a little rough around the edges, you know? I definitely like the way these layer better. But I do like the colors of the other ones. Not better, but I do like just having those extra colors. I just have to learn how to use them properly. I'm gonna give this a quick dry and do another quick layer. Let's just make up. I want like a warm, I'm gonna bring a touch of the orange from the other palette in. Bring in some of this yellow and some pink. I just wanted a very warm, like, color. Might be too warm. Add just a touch of purple to that. Calm it down a little. All 
I think I'm gonna bring out some mermaid marker for her hair. And I think I'm gonna bring a sparkly one. Not 100%, but they're sitting right here, so how could I not? Maybe I'll just do two different shades of like a pink. Give it a quick dry. Probably good enough. And this is the darker side, so I'm gonna t add a touch of a blue. Maybe I should do purple, but I don't want to. I got the blue out already. So we're gonna do some blue over here. Kind of juice it up so I can squeeze all juice out. There we go. That's probably all I need of that. And then I'll take the darker of the two, kind of just add it in here, and this will turn into a gorgeous purple. And then we'll kind of just work it out. And it's okay if it gets on the black. I'm not worried about it. And then I will just use my paintbrush and work this all up into a frenzy. Ah, uh, pretty. I'm gonna dab up some of this dark, just cause that's a lot. And then we'll just kinda get it all wet and smear it around. Ooh, she's pretty. I feel like I need to bring some of this darker color over to this side. Eh, that works. And then let's take some warm colors. We'll do an orange and a red. And some pink. and some water. And we'll just get the paintbrush and smear it all around. Now I think I'm gonna add maybe, oh, let's do, let's clean up as we go. Get in there. Um, let's, where is it? Where's my fancy pen? We're gonna use this the Jane Davenport Golden Age pen to give her the earring color. It's gold and sparkly. You're all about the sparkle today. Some of her eyes. Oh, that's nice. We need to give her just a touch of pink in her eye. If the pink was wet, it would help. Hmm, let's give it a dry and slap on some, you know, white paint pen, see what we can do there. All right, I'm not loving the uh, weird cross hatching that I did. So I'm just cleaning up those edges and we'll just kind of draw some kind of broken glass looking thing or something. I'm reminded of hammer pants I had when I was a kid. That's probably gonna be okay. Let's play around now. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's intentional. Let's give her a fun outline. Ooh, that picks up a lot of that color. Ugh, that permanent. Fatty McFat Yummy Sharpie is just like a stinky. Bring out this little one. Just to do some details in the eyes. Little highlights. Little whatevers. And then we'll highlight just the edge of her face. Oh, 
Alright, liking it. A little extra detail on the lips. It just gets lost in the mermaid markers. That's the power of the mermaid marker. Well, you guys, I think we're done. She's kind of like 80s glam. In my eyes, anyway. I don't know. I was a kid in the 80s and bright colors and glitter. Hello. Who doesn't love it? So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And, uh, yeah, I will see you probably at the next live. Probably Sunday at 7 p.m. New York City time. Uh, it's probably like Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Savings Time. I don't know what it is now because we like to do things difficult here. So, yes, take care and stay safe. And I will see you when I see you. Bye, you guys.